Hello my little scare cubs, welcome back to my channel. This is Colton, Bear Scare Beauty, back again. And... Today I'm going to be doing a mostly full face uh, first impression and review of... This is um, what I could manage to get of the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. Uh, I got there at like 10.03 a.m. and it was gone. So, open this little box up. I did pick the... What was this? This was like her favorite face duo. So this was the uh, Super Shock Cheek and Blush and Count Me In. And then the highlighter in Flexitarian. I'm really sad because I couldn't get any of her Super Shocks or the highlighters. I really wanted to try Mycelium. And I couldn't get it. And the little uh, precise, precise blending sponge. It's a nice tiny little squishy real technique shaped sponge. It's like about the size of the real technique sponge unwet, but this is wet. It feels nice. Feels like a sponge, you know? Now, uh, what I was able to get was at Forest Sight, the palette. I haven't really looked at the, well, I haven't looked at it at all. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's cute. So I'm Pacific Northwest as well. So a lot of these and just the color story in general really hits it for me. Uh, specifically Puffball and Chanterelle right here. And then the, it looks like a trichrome evergreen. Oh, ooh, feels nice. I've never used uh, ColourPop shadows before. Oh, interesting. It's like a, uh, a green to gold to brown. Very interesting. And West Coast, which is this nice gold shade. Also Emerald City and Pacific Northwest. I love the, that's like a deeper blue. It's like a really forest green. Fiddlehead. I just, I really like all of these. Rainier, Old Gray. I really like all of these. This is a, a great, great color story. And ooh, I'm gonna try Let It Rain because it's like a shimmery black. <sighs> Very soft. Oh my god. Huh. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Holy shit. I don't know if you can see that, actually. It's like weird red gold shimmer. It's a little chalky as a black, but you know. Okay, I'll, I'll do like full swatches here in a second, but I got the palette. I got the Lux Gloss in Glacier. This is once again part of the actual collection. I only able, only able? I was only able to get two pieces from the collection, which kind of sucks. Uh, I really wished I could have got more, but they were all sold out and I placed this order on the day it came out. I just got it today. Didn't have time to rebuy more. Wah, wah. Uh, this is the gloss. It smells like citrus caramel. Don't know if this is part of the collection or not, actually. This is one of the liquid liners in the shade Try Me. I thought it just uh, kind of fit with the whole vibe, too. It's this, like, kind of rusty brown-red. Make that a relatively vibrant red. Stop focusing on my face. Are you in focus? And uh, foundation and concealer. Now... If I remember correctly, she really liked the concealer, the concealer, and I know she likes the foundation. Uh, this is in the shade uh, Fair 20 Neutral and Fair 7C. We'll, uh, we'll see how we fare with those. Oh, uh, and then for lips, I have the Ultra Matte in a Times Square. This is nothing new. It's one that I had, but I really like it. Uh, I don't believe there were any liquid lips that she added to her collection or anything like that, so thought I'd use this. Uh, so what I'm using is a, excuse me, what I'm missing is a powder, mascara, brow product, and pencil eyeliner. Uh, I didn't manage to get any of those, and like I said, I didn't want to wait to order them and have them come in at two separate times. Strike while the iron is hot, right? We're just gonna start with brows. Alright. Got some decent 
brows. I'm going to do something I don't usually do, and I'm just going to try this concealer, so I'm going to carve out my brows with it. And we're going to see if it's too light for me or not. <laughs> oh god. That looks, um, okay. No, okay. Okay. It's got color. Not a lot, but some. Okay. I like it. It's got a decent amount of coverage, but not like the most, which is nice. I'm not, uh, not really into ultra high coverage shit. Ooh. Ooh, it smells like a straight acrylic paint. That's a good sign. Oh, my hair is just, uh, getting worse and worse as we go on. Okay, well, you know, these things will happen. The concealer is, uh, Setting down real, real matte. Not my ideal, but... And so I don't dislike the concealer. It's definitely not as matte so far as the uh, Tarte Shape Tape. God, I'm just having one of those like weird days where I feel really subdued right now, and I don't know why. Uh, so let's move on to the eyes. I'm just going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now, I know she generally primes her eye with the concealer. Uh, I'm not going to do that today because I can't. Because it will crease immediately. Got that all primed. There's not really uh, a color to set in this eye palette. <sighs> I did just swatch them. Uh, so far, Homegrown and Emanita, which is a <sighs> shroom, uh, were super duper patchy. So I might give those a try. Uh, I'm going to use Chanterelle first. Taking a nice Delium Tools 785 tapered blending brush. This one was fairly well pigmented. This doesn't have a mirror. I don't really care. I'm not too pressed about palettes not having or having mirrors. Doesn't... Okay, well, that is uh, very pigmented. Which is actually nice. It's a nice, like, dandelion yellow, and I feel like a lot of, uh, yellows don't really get the love they deserve. In fact, the Vizzy, even the yellow in the Vizzy Art palette, I'm not super in love with. It's not bad, it's just, it doesn't perform like the rest of the other shades, which kind of sucks. The only yellow is, uh, Karma in the BH 1991 palette. And that's wild that, like, a $60 palette's yellow doesn't compete with a $20 palette's yellow. So, I mean, do with that information what you will. The palette's never coming back, apparently. And I'm sad. I'm actually deeply sad about that, because it was very pretty. I'm really trying to blow the yellow out here, because I, I just want it to look nice and blended. Oh, okay, no, something that I really wanted to bring up about this palette. I love earth tone palettes. The only real, like, real earth tone palette that I've ever found was the NYX Earth palette, and even then it's a little underwhelming because I feel like there's just not enough diversity in it, so this one is definitely, like, a nice departure from that, and I really enjoy it. I know the meme about everybody with blue eyes being like, look at my eyes. They're like a sultry ocean storm, but it's true. Under magenta light, my eyes explode like jewel. I'm gonna take Fiddlehead. It's the, like, it's the navy green. It's a baby poop green. But I'm into it, so it doesn't matter. Taking this on a Delium 776 blending. And I'm just gonna kind of, like, keep it. I'm gonna try to keep it on, like, the, the outer third? Yeah, we'll do the outer third. I know, I always do the same, like, cat eye shape, but, uh, fuck you. That's what works on me. I could do more almond-shaped eyes, but, uh, I don't really care. It's my show, and not your. Trixie and Katja have ruined me. Just, just absolutely devastated me with their, their comedy stylings, or non midi stylings, whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, I just really vibe with that. Also, also, also Trixie shrieking like a bird. Ah! I don't have a bird laugh, but when I get drunk enough, I have a hyena laugh, and it's terrifying because it just, it keeps going. 
and I can't stop it from happening. So it's just this like shrieking wild dog laughter makes people uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. So Fiddlehead is very pretty. Uh, it's not super pigmented, but it's blending out really well, which is nice. I don't know if it's patchy or just the, might be a little patchy. I have this weird spot right here that's just starting to develop where uh, pigment isn't sticking. I really like that. I'm gonna try to blend it up just a little bit more. Uh, oh my god. So it's definitely blending away in some areas where I put that yellow down. It's a really pretty color, and I actually like this color combination, but it's not, uh, it's not sticking around as well as I would like it, which is a little disappointing. I'll have to try it on its own sometime. It looks pretty, though. It looks, it's a nice, like, grungy green, and I really like the kind of navy greens and yellows and things like that, which I don't really see enough of, so I'm excited. I, I want to keep trying it, want to keep using it. Oh, I didn't get a bronzer either. I didn't see one available, so they might have been sold out. I don't know. I'm uh, gonna take a Dillium Tools 781 crease brush. It's a nice little thin crease brush. I'm gonna try Homegrown. It's like the kind of like ready brown, rusty brown red. And I'm gonna kind of deepen up the outer corner. I just want to see how this blends or lack thereof. Uh, so far looking like a lack thereof. Let's... I, I really like your energy up there. I think you have a, a pretty good voice. I honestly think that you need to go away. Okay. Um, I mean, it's definitely built up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in with more of that fiddlehead, and I'm gonna try to... It's not really getting muddy, but I think it's definitely, like, lost something because of that color combination. Now, that could have been because, you know, I was using a, a brown red and a navy green. Yeah, I mean, I just, I have a big bald spot right there. That I can't fault the shadow for that. It's sticking everywhere else relatively nice. It's not super pigmented. I had to build up the, uh, the <sighs> homegrown, like I said, quite a bit. Uh, a lot, actually. It's better. It's not fantastic. It's better. Uh, I definitely played myself a little bit and made the wing go out a little too far when it needed to go up, but that's a me thing. I'm gonna take uh, Evergreen. It's the nice shimmer. I'm gonna put that on, like, the kind of inner part of my eye, and then I'm gonna put West Coast on the outer part. Excuse me. Strike that. Reverse it. That's really pretty. I enjoy that. It's very pretty. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a mixture of Homegrown and Fiddlehead, and I'm just gonna kind of, like, tap it on right here, just to kind of marry the, the shimmer and the outer corner together. Man, like I said, I'm just having, like, a weirdly subdued feeling day. I don't know what's going on. And, uh, this is West Coast. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like a really, really pretty, very yellow gold. I feel like an idiot right now. That's super pretty. Take a tiny bit of chanterelle. I'm just having an issue right here, but that's a me thing. That's not a shadow thing. So, it's good. I, I like it. It's a decent palette. The, uh, the homegrown did kind of marry with the green a little bit more, so it just looks like a, a deeper... Navy green, so I'm happy about that, but I did have to build it up quite a bit, and it's a little bit patchy, uh, where I don't have problems, so it is a little bit patchy. It's not even a pressed pigment, either. The am Amanita is a pressed pigment, and that one's swashed really patchy, so I'm going to have to use that in the future, try it out. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'll be right back. But... As far as first impressions go, uh, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy the color story, the, um, excuse me, uh, wow, I almost said Chantilly. Chanterelle shade is, um, really pretty. 
Uh, I like Fiddlehead. I'll have to play with it a little more. I'm going to try all these as well. West Coast is beautiful. I don't really think the camera does it justice. It's like this hyper yellow dandelion gold, and it's really reflective. Really like it. Evergreen's really interesting. It's a little bit sheer, but it's like ethereal almost. Homegrown is very patchy. You do definitely have to build it up. So I'm going to play around with more of these, obviously. Let's move on to the rest of the face. I think these have a pump. They have a pump. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I don't generally like applying foundation with a sponge, but I got the sponge, so I'm going to try it. And take one... Oh. Fuck. That's a lot of foundation. One pump. It's very liquidy. I'm just gonna get it on the, the micro sponge here, the itty bitty baby. Itty bitty baby sponge. Down already? Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Wow 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 wow. Uh that does dry down very quickly. The sponge is kind of pulling up a little bit of product. I understand that's kind of what they're supposed to do, but the areas that I'm stamping back over again are getting disrupted a little bit. Uh, I am glad that the sponge is pulling up a little product because I don't like too much on my forehead because it's bad. It's bad, bad. It's bad. So if I'm just pressing um, very firmly, it's definitely releasing, like, all the, the product that's kind of stuck in there, which is nice. So, I mean, as far as one pump, it definitely covered the rest of my face. This sponge is interesting because it's, like, softer yet somehow firmer than the Real Techniques one, so it's kind of making it go a little further. I'm going to have to try this with the Hourglass Foundation because that's what I've been using lately. It looks really, really good on my nose, actually, which is shocking because not many foundations do. Drying down a little bit and settling into some of the dry patches on my nose, but that's, I like, at this point, there are things that I'm just willing to accept about my skin that are never going to change, uh, that being one of them. This is light, okay. <laughs> Baby, I'm scared. Let's, uh, let's see how far this goes. I'm really digging the, uh, the size of this sponge, actually, because it really, uh, lets me kind of get into my little eye crevasse without disturbing too much of what I've done. I usually use this brush, which is the, the 778 BDHD Phase 3 brush, because it really lets you, like, get in there. So this is nice. This is interesting. I'm not going to say I'm not a, not a fan of that. That's, um, it's not the highest coverage, which I'm into. It blends out relatively nice. I can't tell if it's super matte or not. I'm just going to do like a little, just cause I can. Working is intended. Taking some of that hourglass powder. Once again, get travel size shit. I mean, maybe the, the powder did the full size thing if you really like it, which... I might. <laughs> it's really good. I might get this for client use, actually. It does look a little dry where I put some of the powder down, but I think that's just the, the combination of powder and product. You know, things, things happen. We do things. I have this weird, like, club trap remix of one of the Pokemon Town themes stuck in my head, and it's just, it's kind of a banger, but I can't get it out of my head. Uh, I'm gonna take Puffball, that, like, neutral brown shade, on a Delium Tools 776 angled shadow brush. I'm just gonna run this under my lashes.
that's really pretty and blended out really well. They're uh, they're a little bit powdery uh, in the pan, but I mean that's not not life ending, you know. I really love how since this eye hangs lower naturally, it like smokes out lower. So once again, impossible for me to be symmetrical. Kind of hate it. I keep thinking I look really pale on camera, but this might be one of the best foundation matches I've ever done because it looks exactly like my chest. I am just ghastly 24-7. Fuck. I kind of have those moments where I'm, like, outside, and I'm like, how do people not look at me and immediately go blind whenever there's light shining directly on me? I'm gonna try this liquid liner now. It might be a disaster. It might not. Who knows? Wow. 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 Yeah, damn, that is, um... Excuse me, look at my Laura Mercier powder puff. That is really a good pen liner, and uh, for me to say that about a pen liner is quite shocking. Okay, it is gathering a little bit of product on it, so it's kind of like losing its penny-ness. Um, not too bad, though. It looks good. Is this a felt tip or a brush? Moving on to the other eye, and I'm um, going to absolutely play myself with symmetry, but you know. Well, it's definitely a felt tip, and it's already drying up. That's a, uh, a big yikes from me. Wow. Um, hmm. So for the first 30 seconds, that was great. Um, afterwards, it just stopped being a thing, so uh, I'm going to give this another try, but overall it was initially a really positive reaction, and now it's a really, uh, not so much. Uh, if all of them are like this, 100% would not recommend. So we'll see about that. I'll up y'all, up y'all, I'll up y'all, I'll update y'all at a later date. I'll up y'all at a later date, up y'alls. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna bronze real quick. Pleasantly surprising. It's not picking up any product. It's not swiping any product away from my nose. Okay, I can deal with that. I can fucks with this. It's a good foundation. It's a good ass foundation. Sponsored to you by Rain Total Body Fuel. Not because they're sponsoring me, but because I'm drinking it while having a breakdown. Okay. Colourpop Super Shock Blush. It smells like almond cookies. What the fuck? Very creamy feeling. Ooh, okay. That's uh, that's a lot more sheer than I thought it would be, which is good. It's like a coral color. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, I'm going to take the sponge, I guess. I've never used these, so I don't know how to use them. Gonna try the sponge. Are you sponge worthy? Wow, I haven't thought of that in years. Hold, hold on. Is that doing anything? In like the barest of senses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of showing. It's kind of showing. I guess if you want like a really light wash, which I mean to be frank, that's mostly what I do. All the time, I don't know what I'm doing More than half of the time God, I love Maria Bamford Take a brush And we're just gonna see I mean, it's a, a, a It's the super shock When I hear the phrase super shock I think shocking it makes my brush smell good, though. I'm not, I'm not mad that it blended out really well, but it's just, I, it's not what I thought it would be. It's nice, but it's not what I thought it'd be. I think that's the my, my expectations. It didn't meet my expectations, but at the same time, it wasn't in a bad way. The real blush was the friends we made along the way. Okay, this is one of the highlighters. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god, wow, okay, well that felt like, uh, like ice, and it kind of... Jesus. Oh boy. Okay, uh, I don't know if I trust this. 
I am taking the sponge for this. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. See, this is not... Well, okay, so here's the thing. I guess it is more subtle than I thought it would be, obviously, with the sponge. But it's kind of like the blush, in the sense that it's, like, really diffused. So, like, head-on, you don't really see this, like, craziness, but then... As soon as the light catches it. Okay. This? This I can 100% get behind. This I can 100% get behind. And me just putting it all over my face to give me some glow back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this I can fuck with. That's... Flexitarian. Yeah. Fuck me, man. That is amazing looking. Lips. This is one of the ultra mats. These don't. They have a little bit of a smell, but it's not like strong or bad. It just kind of smells like chemical. Very nice. Very nice. So much. Fuck. Okay. I mean, like, I'm I'm adequately satisfied with this. Got that Lux gloss in a uh, glacier. Oh god. oh god. Oh, there's a glob on it. Oh, it's very thick. Hmm. It almost feels like um, the same formula as their plumping gloss, but without the uh, like the menthol added to it. So it's definitely got like a little bit of tack, but it's not uncomfortable. It does look nice and glossy though. It is like borderline clear, which is nice, but there's a little bit of like pearl in it. So you're definitely seeing a little bit of like shimmer. Uh, so I think to summarize what I think about this, once again, these are the only two pieces from the actual collaboration. Uh, at Forest Sight, I enjoyed the shades that I used. I think there is an issue with uh, Homegrown and Amanita. Uh, Fiddlehead was nice. Uh, Chanterelle and uh, Puffball were very good. Um, Evergreen and West Coast are really good shimmers. They are the only two shimmers in the palette, though, which I know some people don't like, but I think they're relatively versatile. So, uh, given the option, I don't know if I would purchase this again right off the bat. I would need a little more time to play around with it, but right now I think I'm happy with the initial one, but I don't think I'd repurchase it. The gloss, the gloss is nice. Um, it's, it smells great. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel sticky or weird. It's a little bit of... There's a little bit of tack to it, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's nice neutral. It's not heavily colored. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, so it's doing that whole thing. So I like those two pieces out of the collection. I would repurchase the gloss again. It's nice. Uh, let's see here. As for the recommended, the uh, Count Me In Cheek Blush. I'll need to play around with it a little more, kind of take it or leave it. I don't know how impactful it is or really how well it showed up. However, the uh, Flexitarian Super Shock Cheap Pearlized, this is great. This is really nice. I uh, I might end up buying, I think it was Mycelium, was the one that she came out with, because I really, A, I like the name because mushrooms, uh, and then B, it just looked nice, so I definitely want to try that. Uh, the foundation and concealer, um, pretty, pretty banging. The foundation's really good, not super high coverage, not low coverage. Uh, blends really well, doesn't dry down too terribly matte, right? Uh, the concealer, oh, hyaluronic creamy concealer, that's why. Concealer, once again, not super matte, blends really well. Uh, medium coverage, which is nice. Uh, I'm glad that I somehow got the right shades. The sponge, actually, for what it's worth mentioning, I would probably buy this again. Uh, it's nice. It has, like, a nice feel to it. 
it doesn't really eat up too much product. I think it eats up just enough. Um, yeah. So I'd read about the sponge. I'd read about the gloss. I would definitely repurchase foundation and concealer and the highlighter. Kind of on the fence about if I would repurchase the eyeshadow palette or not. Uh, I think it's time for a little montage. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is uh, Colton Bear Scare Beauty. Subscribe down below. It'd mean a lot. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Bear Scare Beauty. Same way it's spelled here. I'll have more videos up soon. I will get back to some special effects videos, and I'm going to get back to playing around with the airbrush. I just haven't wanted to lately because I'm lazy. And it's through the holidays, and these are always really stressful for everybody. Uh, I hope y'all are taking care of yourself, and I hope you have a good day, week, month, or year. Love you guys. Bye.